Welcome back to another episode of Short Cute Cooking. This is Chef Joanne. Now that I'm back in my actual cooking classes and I started cooking this week, there's some things that I need that I'd rather make myself than buy it out of the store because that way you could control exactly what, how much is what on it. If you want it cheesier, if you want it. So I gotta make Caesar salad and dressing and I need croutons. So this is a quick video on how to make the croutons. So this is like eight slices of bread. I just cut up into small cubes because nobody likes a big crouton. Well, I don't like big croutons. I'm doing, um, this is a three cheese, Parmesan and Reggiano and Asiago. So I'm doing cheese, garlic powder, and can you hear me that melted butter? So it's just one, two, three, four ingredients, and you got homemade croutons. Can you hand me the butter? Hand me the butter. Just adding the garlic powder. Now you can add as much or as less as you want, depending. Put it on the table. Depending on how garlicky you want it to taste. I like garlic, so it don't make me know never mind how much is on it. As long as it's not too, too overpowering. Then you add the cheese. And try to crunch it up just a little smaller. Oh, I have to slow down. So I like to stir it up before I add the butter and then I sort of be not just sitting on the top. This is about four tablespoons of butter. Melted, but it's not exactly hot. You want enough butter on there so it coats the whole crouton, the whole little square of bread, and the ingredients stick like the cheese. So, the oven on 350. I'm using a regular baking pan. You can saute these. But it's really tedious when you got to stand there and just keep flipping the little pieces of bread over and over again and moving it around so it doesn't burn compared to just doing it like this and putting it in the oven. until you, Now, how long you bake it, it depends on how dark or how hard you like your croutons. Now, normally I spray my pan so nothing sticks, but with us having butter on here already, we don't want it to be, we want it to get crunchy and brown, but not soggy. So try to get one layer or one layer of bread crumbs. We don't want too many sitting on top of each other because they won't crisp up correctly. And this, and that's it. So throw it in the oven. It shouldn't take no more than 15 minutes, depending on how hard and dark you want it. But doesn't take long to cook or to bake. And there you have it. A quick recipe for garlic and four cheese croutons. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. And I'll be videotaping my homework also. So wait for those videos. Thank you for tuning in. Like, subscribe, share. And I'll see you next time. Keep it short. Keep it cute. Keep cooking.